Hello everyone. Welcome to topic of the day. In this edition, we will be discussing the National Supercomputing Mission. Now recently this topic was in news as Indian Institute of Science Bangalore installed the supercomputer Param Pravega with 3.3 petaflop speed under the National Supercomputing Mission. Now let's discuss about it. So far 10 supercomputers have been installed in 10 institutes with five more in the final stages. China has the maximum number of supercomputers followed by United States of America. The National Supercomputing Mission of India is intended to indigenize the development and manufacturing of powerful computers. Let's talk about supercomputers in India. First of all, what is supercomputer? The supercomputer is a computer with high level computational capacity compared to a general purpose computer. Their performance is measured in floating point operations per second, that is flops, instead of million instructions per second, MIPS. There are 3 supercomputers residing in India from top 500 list of supercomputers across the globe, and these 3 are Param Siddhi, Pratyush and Mihir. Only Param Siddhi ranks in the top 100 list and rest of the two are in top 200 list. Param Shivai, the first supercomputer assembled indigenously, was installed at the Banaras Hindu University, followed by Param Shakti at IIT Kharagpur. Now let us talk about the National Supercomputing Mission with an objective to enhance the research capacities and capabilities in the country by connecting such centers. to form a supercomputing grid with the national knowledge network it is to make india one of the world leaders in supercomputing this mission also supports the government's vision of digital india and make in india initiatives if we talk about some of the salient features this mission is being jointly steered by dst and the ministry of electronics and information technology and implemented by cdac pune and iisc bangalore The mission was planned in three phases. Phase 1 that worked on assembling supercomputers, phase 2 in which we manufacture certain components within the country, and phase 3 where a supercomputer is designed by India. So what is the use of a supercomputer? It is generally required in computational demands of academia, researchers, the micro small and medium enterprises, and startups in the areas like oil exploration flood prediction and drug recovery so this was about the national supercomputing mission i hope you liked the video for regular updates you can follow us on our social media handles and for more such videos do stay tuned to the next ias youtube channel